Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our thankful Thursday. A blessed day indeed in this entire week. And let's do our Power of Dreams programming. And before we start our curriculum and our session for the day. So let's start. amazing all right so yesterday how many of you played that game the busting open either or thinking game did you realize if you played the game that how many more options come out but if you of course you if you haven't played the game there will be no reaction because you haven't played it so just reading will never give you a reaction experiencing something doing something diligently will give, give you a reaction and to all my friends who are bystanders and who are not performing in the sense who are not experiencing, who are not practicing, what shall we do? You have to mark some time off in your day where you can practice whatever is the assignment for the day. Because believe me, dear friends, dear Sanghas, if we are not practicing what we are learning, if we've been taught some game, if you're not playing it, we can't prosper in life. Because reading is something, but when you experience it, it becomes your experiences. Your experiences are what makes you richer. So if you really want to get good out of this book or any book for that matter, whatever is being taught, try and implement it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be 100%, but it has to be there, done there. You should always say, done there, been there, tick mark, checked. And yes, this is my experience. Unless we do that, if you just write a yes with no experience, how will we know we played the game? It was very, very simple game. What was it about? It was about me as a person. Do I have this choice? Am I open-minded in thinking? Can I create this or can I create that? Most of the times we become uh, non-receptive. Why? Because we think oh, this is the only way forward. But this was about working on our brain to think of a point B or a C or a D or an E. So for that, playing this game was very imperative. Which is why I come to this point anyways, uh, absolutely up to you but as a, as your co-sangha, as your co-seeker, all I'll say is you'll really benefit out of any book if you start doing every single day. The best part is you've had an hour and a half in the morning with, with me. Continue that for another half an hour and do the assignment first thing in the morning or schedule yourself a time. 
otherwise the next morning comes you don't even get to know when the days have flown away because we're so busy in our activities all right so after having understood the game for yesterday today is all about reading what karman thought what was in her mind was it a conflict or could she do something so if you can help this either or conflict my client karman who worked in north carolina had a dream of working with big cats that's lions and tigers which gave me pause but i never questioned love she longed to take a year long program of in oregon where she could learn to work with the big cats but unlike helen she was completely locked up in a very unsuc very successful industrial design career it's 50 weeks a year at work and two weeks off from a vacation that's that she said i'm constantly just quitting and taking my chances at getting work somewhere somehow not so fast i cautioned like suicide and divorce quitting is always an option so let's make it the last one okay maybe you can be a double agent or do both at the same time do did you do you do much traveling as part of your job or even better do you have or can you get any big accounts in oregon no in my company the work is all on the east coast and i'm pretty much chained to a computer at the office you said what could would you advise carmen to do take a moment to see what you come up with when you're done read the rest of the story so all of us what do you think should we advise carmen if you were carmen's um, you know um, confidant and if, if you were his or her friend what would you advise her she has a fabulous job very high playing in the industrial company she's an industrial designer what would you caution her what would you advise her because she wants to do this she wants to work with the big fish she wants to work with the big people and she's decided to do a course for two weeks and she says okay let me do it and she's planning to put all, all on hold and go there what do you advise any advice coming up okay so you'll tell her to go with the passion all right others advice for holidays okay great any more coming up she already has successful business so she should proceed with the business and not do the other bit which is that you're saying i mean actually saying follow your dreams which is you saying follow your passion okay with the passion which she says all right so let's read her story if you thought carmen should keep her job in delhi communicate from the west coast you guessed right delhi commuting is a way she can design her model so she can do everything she wants to do i call that a life design model Now, what is our life design model? What is telecommunication exactly? Life design models are a combination of time management and task organizing, and much more. Life designs have been at the heart of my work because they're the very essential underpinning for any happy, productive life. In my first book, Wishcraft, published in seventy-eight, I said we must find clues to your life design to the discovery of what you'll be happiest doing. and what you'll be best at from the beginning it's been clear that instead of trying to change ourselves we should arrange an environment so that it gives us what we need to function at our best in this book i'll be suggesting life design models for every different type of scanner once you sense your natural patterns you can choose a model to give shape to your life and remind you what that steps to be taken next the diagrams of foot the steps painted on the floor in the dance studio for each different kind of dance they'll keep you moving until your life runs at its natural pace automatically and then i think you'll find them very very helpful but they're not rules they're not only rough guy outlines because your steps are unique number of things you love the length of time you want to do them and the career that's right for you are unique so you won't find the perfect fit until you do your own adjustments in wishcraft at the advice on life design rehearsal to work out the rough spots with scanners the process is no different it's just that scanners are interested in more things than other people the richness of your interests affects every aspect of a life design model you schedule where you keep your stuff what manner of career will leave time for you to do everything you love or be an umbrella that will include all your interests As you see, I've given each life design model its own name. Carmen solved her problem by setting up a life design model 
that fit both her need to be in Oregon for training to work with lions and tigers and I need to continue a successful career in North Carolina. How did you do that? Simply by telecommuting. Now what is telecommuting model? How to be in two places at once? So when Carmen told me she spent all her time at the computer, I asked, if most of your work is on computer, why do you have to be at the office at all? Can't you telecommute from Oregon? I don't know. Let me find out. She had some excitement in her voice. It took some wheeling and dealing because Carmen's boss was against telecommuting at first. But she found literature that showed the telecommuters actually get more done and give the employees more results for their dollars. Carmen clinched the deal by landing a good account two hours from the tiger training camp, something she'd worked on for months. And she agreed to fly back to home office every six weeks to spend a week on site. But she kept her job and moved to the West Coast to start her training with the big cats. I haven't heard from her, so I don't know what happened. I try not to be nervous about her silence. Helen, the woman who worked, who loved Africa, but didn't want to live away from her aging parents, solved her problem with a different life design model. So the thing is, with the double agents, we can be doing two things that we love to do at the same time. Now, when she could not move from one place to another, they decided to give telecommuting, which means that if your job is so much here, you can be communicating through the, like what's happening these days, work from home is happening. So when work from home is happening, whether I'm sitting in Delhi or Gurgaon, or whether I'm sitting in Honolulu, how does it matter to my boss? I'm giving him the exact amount of time that's required. So this is what she had proposed for Carmen. Now, what happened with uh, Helen? Let's understand that too. This, and also understand another example. The school teacher life design model. Summers off. So all of us know that school teachers, anybody, they are into this particular thing. For the past two years, since we first met, Helen has spent her summers in Africa and the rest of the year with her parents in Houston, using the uh, Houston, uh, using the school teacher model for organizing her year. This model has been around ever since humans started planting crops in climates that had winter. My father spent his childhood in a Russian village, and his story was the same as any farm kids in Wisconsin. Children went to school in the winters, but they were needed on the farm. But during the planting and growing seasons, until the harvest was over, they were too busy helping on their family farms. In the fall, they were able to turn back to school. Since teachers had no students to teach in the summer, they used this time for their vacations. And this practice has continued to this day, even in the metropolitan areas. It's an ideal arrangement for someone who wants to live in two different places or live two kinds of lives. But some of us, but most of us forget about it, as this letter from a client shows. Dear Barbara, I only spent one year in college before I had to go for it full time. And for many years, I grieved the loss of my dream of studying classical literature. As I got older, it seemed more and more impossible. How would I sign up at a university? I didn't have the time or the money. I tried to be grown up about it, but underneath I was disappointed. I still read books on my own, of course, but it wasn't the same. And then, when I was 38, I started teaching elementary school my third career. What a revelation. Teachers get summers off. I had completely overlooked that. This summer, I'm going to Oxford University in England for an adult education course in Greek literature. We'll stay in the students' quarters that were built in the Middle Ages. Why didn't I think of this before? How long has it been going on? And where have I been? Incidentally, farmers are often free in the winters and you can choose that version of the model if it suits you better. You could call that version the farmer life design model. And if you're someone who wants to live both your lives at the same time, even on the same day, the parallel life's life design model might be just what you need then you only had to change hats or move to a different room or a different part of town when you're ready to change your activities. Of course, teachers and farmers have a livelihood part of the year that allows them to eat all year long and you're going to need one too. If you want to lead two lives, what happens with people with, two with double agents? What do you do? 
when you want to lead two lives, a career that requires nine to five days for 50 weeks a year simply isn't right for you. You need a less conventional source of income or an, un an unusual job. Here are some options that might suit you. I've divided them into two groups. The first is for double agents like Helen, whose dreams include some kind of travel. The second is for those who want or need two or more different careers at the same time. Now, if your dream includes travel, first, we should find jobs because we can, you can easily replace. Now, you'll say, how does it work? Now, a woman told me that before she was married, she and a friend would take entry-level jobs in offices and work just long enough to earn money for a trip to Europe. It was always easy to get jobs like that. So we didn't mind leaving. And neither of us was interested in building a career. We figured we'd get married and have lots of children and we'd stay home forever. So we wanted to get her traveling in before that. She happened, however, to marry someone who led tours in Antarctica and collected fish in the South Pacific for places like SeaWorld. So she never did settle down to her delight. Tip. Set up your next job before you leave. If you're planning to lead your other life in a distant place, you can arrange to do freelancing consulting work and line up a new job before you leave the country. It's very nice to know that you don't have to find a job when you get back. Number two, be an independent worker. So did you understand this? Before we leave the first job, we already plan our second job because we cannot... Out of just whims and fancies, just leave off something as it is and just jump onto the next gun. Find an alternative, find a plan, take a break rather than just saying, okay, I quit. Because once you quit, you never, you never know if you can come back. So make them understand this is your passion. You want to take a temporary break. And the best part is the truth is always profound. So never go around it. Go bang on top of it the way it's supposed to be. But yes, you can embrace diplomacy and talk in a way that doesn't hit somebody bad. If it's if you, if you can hit somebody. Now, how do how does being an independent worker work? Daniel Pink in the two thousand book Free Agent North Nation describes some of the many ways independent workers are able to move through dozens of different environments very every year. He mentions colorful names like Prima, uh, Prima Lancer, someone who begins as a contractor freelance worker and decides to keep that position even when offered a permanent job. And uh, retirement, people who start internet-based businesses after they retire. Etirement, I think that is, yeah. How wonderful. Retirement becomes etirement. Nice. As well as techno cowboys, hired guns, nomads, gypsies, information backpackers, and profile workers. And none of the descriptions sound familiar or insecure. Pink reminds us these people are no different than plumbers, independent truckers, carpet installers who have traditionally had the most stable of careers. The money isn't bad either. Independent work includes the following. So for somebody who's thinking of independent worker, it's also in India, we call them as freelancers. So I have done that all my life. Like I ran a company, but I was a freelancer. So whenever I want a maternity break or I want to go somewhere, I would just tell my clients that I'm not working or I would just say I'm busy. So it's very nice to be a freelancer because you are at your own free will. Not every day do you want to work. So I was never a conventional nine to five worker. My business factory also was always on autopilot. I would just go once in a while to check on it. People would be working on it and even the vendor, I'm sorry, even my uh, you know, field boy would come down from the factory and get the color swatches checked from me because we were into wedding cards. He would just get it to click. So I never had that thing of going to the factory every single day. Why is that a good idea for me? Because I love my creativity. I love to do 10 things at the same time. So if I'm going to the office nine to five, how do I manage? Plus my children were very young that time. So it was very convenient. If I have one hour of meeting with a client, he'd pop in, say hi to them, have a meal with them, feed them their breakfast or lunch attended the school things. And whenever the girls were back from school, I would never meet my clients unless important. So it worked very well for me when you're a freelancer. Now see at what passion you can develop. And now that you're, we are practically working from home, if, the, uh, if your places haven't begun, then look at this. There are many companies that have given the permission to their, to their staff to work from home forever. One of my um, you know, people I was talking to, she said, I've opted from work for life for life. 
So work from home for life. So imagine. Now, what else can you do as an independent worker? You can pick up contract, a short job, another way to some whether have some choice about when and where you want to work, what do you want to work in, and you're leading your life in your own terms and not in other people's terms. And there are millions of opportunities even in our country for these. You can find opportunities at job listing sites on the internet, depending on your skill set. That are contract labor and temporary firms that place workers on a project by project base. Working in contract can be perfect for any kind of scanner, and there's a lot more of kind of work that there was 20 years ago. If you start out working through a placement agency, you can eventually work as an independent contractor and set your own higher rates. There's contract work out there for almost any vocation these days, techies, healthcare workers, clerical, factory, etc. I met a woman who worked in film production and another who set up a corporate computer networks, and both of them managed to free up six months each year to follow all their other interests. Now, temporary jobs. You can arrange to set aside a retirement fund and pay for your own health insurance when you have a temporary job. Scanners who love to keep the options open tell me they prefer temporary jobs to permanent ones. Law firms, large banks, big corporations always need proofreaders to check changes in contracts. The temporary agents, that uh, actually agencies that actually deal with nothing but proofreaders. All you have to do is take in a few tests to show you can do detailed work, and they'll give you work right away. The night shift pays big money, or you can find work on a more personal level. Working for small or home businesses that need someone to do data entry or transcriptions. Very important to do something that you like, and you know, with these placement agencies, even in India, if you're bored, you could just ask for stuff, and they know at least that you know they can always get back to you. Are you interested in doing this? Good money, big money, satisfaction. You just do your job, and you're like, okay, I have these five days, I can do something rather than sitting and doing nothing. Elance jobs. An elancer is an independent worker who does everything via email. My bookkeeper, who keeps came to my house once a week for years, has become an elancer. I haven't seen her in person for a long time, but we communicate daily via email. If she were overseas instead of a few miles away, I wouldn't know the difference. So this gives you the flexibility of traveling and doing whatever you want wherever. Number three, find highly paid short-term work to pay for the whole year. Work in this area is usually found in one season rather than your whole year round. And this used to happen with us initially, because weddings were a limited business initially when I began up in '96. They were only for a temporary time, you know, not all the year round. Of course, later I started doing international clients, and the weddings became all the year round. And I started doing more communities that don't have fixed uh, wedding time. But like in, usually in Marwaris and even Hindus, they have a limited time when the weddings are there. So then I would earn in those months big time and the entire year would be paid for because I always like to be independent and not be dependent on the family finances. So now there are other professions like fishing. A photographer I know spent summer in Alaska working on a fishing boat. He makes high wages that allow him to be a photographer for the rest of the year. He takes some pretty amazing photos of work on a fishing boat too. Preparing tax. You can be a tax preparer who works like a demon for two to three months the tax season be free all the rest of the year. Billy is an actor who prepares taxes for other actors during March and April, which leaves the rest of his year wide open for doing auditions, putting on his own plays. He wrote me this note once. The note says, sometimes I go to the mountains with summer stock theater, or I go to other cities to see their repertory theaters or to study with such a special teacher. And my clients are all actors, which is wonderful for me because I know how much most artistic people need help in this area. It creates a nice network too. There, where, here's where we share important things like who's auditioning, how to find a good manager, or how to talk to a casting director. So, you know, if we, firstly, uh, are we happy not doing multitasking in the sense, are we happy being where we are? Can we pack in a punch and do something that we're interested in? If yes, invoke it automatically the doors will open and lead you into a way of doing something that you love to do. Like in my life, I know I never want a retirement. Because even when I retire from maybe my responsibilities, otherwise I want to do something. I just can't be doing nothing. So technical manual translator. What is that? 
That's what my son did for years. He'd work for crazy hours, six months, and save enough money to travel the world and do what he liked for a year. He lived in Japan, Greece, Spain, Spain and Germany. Then he did, he repeat the schedule. Gardener, ornamental, horticulturist, landscaper. This is job that allows you to travel in the winters, like the farmer model I mentioned above. You'd build up a client list and work mostly in the spring and summer, then pack up and head out to your second life the rest of the year. So, so in, in, in India, you could pick up interior designing if you're qualified, or you can design jewelry for some jewelry company if you have some expertise. Not everyone needs technical expertise. Somebody is good for designs also. See who needs what. You'll find a lot of entrepreneurs close by who need something somewhere. Bring out the chain and see where you what works for you. Number four, follow the sun. The seasonal life design model is a variation on the double agent for the seasonal scanner. There, these are people who manage three or more jobs, all of which they enjoy. A friend emailed me about someone he knew who was a seasonal scanner. I had a Sky instructor once who told me about a very cool way he found to do things he enjoyed, keep a lot of variety in his life, and even made a decent living. He repeated this program every year. He taught skiing in Vermont from December to March. He loved to teach. In March, he went to Australia to do underwater photography. He was a contributor to a diving magazine. In June, he'd go to Hawaii and surf. I don't think he did that professionally. And after that, he'd hit the slopes in Chile for, a, for the ski season and work as a test skier to demonstrate new equipment the Sky companies put out. That whole schedule paid for itself. And you could see by looking at him that the life suited him well. Now, this last one is interesting. It's called find a portable job. Portable jobs come in all sizes and shapes and allow us to travel. There are programs for nurses that send them to different locations for a year and more. If you're in IT industry and work with computers, or if you speak English, you can set up a job where you go to a new place and carry those skills with you, like Lena, who entered data for a hospital in the Midwest and always longed to go to Ghana. Ghana has hospitals, I said. Why don't you contact them to see if they need your skills? She started a website called Wanna Go to Ghana to support and get contract numbers and get a job in Ghana within a few months. Find a job with built-in travel. Jobs with built-in travel have obvious advantages, but they don't always let you choose your location. Simultaneously, interpreter. I know a woman originally from, from England, now living in Paris, who works this work. She spends time in Central Asia at international business and government conferences, working with the team doing the kind of stimulation, simultaneous uh, interpretation that you see at the U United Nations. She took a rigorous training course in Belgium that lasted over a year. It's not the only way to get a license, she said, but they refer you to good jobs and they give you health benefits. So basically, to today morning, it's all about finding an alternate of what we are doing and just doing a type B or a C or D and seeing if something interests us, invigor you know, inspires us. For all you know, if we get this idea, Maybe we'll start freelancing and doing a bit and finding a little more and maybe we'll like that idea so much that it will probably become a mainstream business. You never know. Assistant at international trade shows. There's a fabric show in Istanbul and another in New York, is I right? And a hundred others all over the world. They voted to anything you can imagine. Manufacturers, buyers come from all over the world to buy and sell and see what's going on. And the companies that rent the space, set up the display, provide all the services, need hundreds of assistants at every level. You can even walk at the end of the show and offer to help individual companies break down their booths. I've been told by these people that they're so tired at the end of a conference that we're grateful to any helper who showed up. Worker with a global business chain. You can be a trainer for a corporation with offices all over the world. Or you can work in a hospitality field for a hotel chain. A woman I met on a plane a few years ago told me she was a service manager at an American hotel based in Hong Kong. And on weekends, she often went with friends to Kathmandu in Nepal to relax. What if I've got a passion that competes with an income-producing career? Did that either or think sneak back in and give you those choices? I must risk all of for my art and do it full time. I can't give up security for art. If so, remember the right answer is always another above. 
So there will be many more alternates coming up. If you want one or you need more than one career, and we'll read about them tomorrow. Just that this book is helping us understand that there is so much for people like us who want to do multiple things, and are not very happy with what we're doing. The ironical bit is, I don't know how many of you here will agree. Ninety percent of us are doing stuff which we are not very fond of. We are doing it just because we are meant to do it, and just because there's no plan B, C, D, E, F, or F. But here in this kind of world, we are being open to a fact that there is so much of probability for us to grow and leap by bounds. So Rahul, so tomorrow we'll take up this. If you want to need more than one career, now we can start a sun salutation. So this book for me is interesting, and I love it because there's so many times that I have I was in a dilemma, and this kind of opened the horizons for me to go beyond my comfort zone. and find what i did so i'm a scanner i've tried a lot of business forms and then i taste i know this one is done for me and now it's time to move on to the next so it's fun it's interesting to give yourself that leeway that permission to go ahead and follow your dreams and yet be financially secured so for that i create passive income in a big way and then of course following my dreams all right so let's for some salutation सूर्य नमस्कार विद मंत्रास ओम मित्राए नमः ओम रवाए नमः ओम सूर्याए नमः ओम भानवे नमः ओम खगाए नमः ओम कुशने नमः ओम हिरण्यगर्भाय नमः ओम मरिचाय नमः ओम अदित्याय नमः ओम सावित्रे नमः ओम अर्काय नमः ओम भास्कराय नमः सैल्यूटेशंस टू द यूनिवर्सल फ्रेंड सैल्यूटेशंस टू द रिस्प्लेंडेंट सन सैल्यूटेशंस टू द एनर्जी that induces activity within us salutations to the one who illumines salutations to the sun moving across the sky salutations to the giver of strength salutations to the golden cosmic cell salutations to the lord of the dawn salutations to the son of aditi the cosmic mother salutations to the benevolent mother salutations to the energy that we praise and to the one who guides us to salvation the sun salutation now with the names of the postures both in sanskrit and english pranam asan hastuthan asan madha hastasan left leg back ashva sanchalan asan parvata asan and hold this position and now slowly progressing into the deeper version of parvatasan adho mukshvanasan ashtang namaskar bhujangasan parvatasan left forward ashva sanchalanasan pada hastasan हस्तोत्थनासन प्रणाम आसन ऑन द राइट साइड प्रेयर पोजिशन रेज आर्म्स पोज हैंड टू फीट पोज राइट लेग बैक इक्वेस्ट्रियन पोज माउंटेन पोज होल्ड माउंटेन पोज एंड स्लोली मूविंग इन टू द डीपर वर्जन ऑफ माउंटेन द डाउनवर्ड फेसिंग डॉग salute with eight limbs cobra press back to mountain right forward equestrian pose hand to feet pose raised arms position prayer pose 
one round of the sun salutation with awareness on the breathing. So exhaling our hands to the chest, pranam. Inhaling as we bend back. We exhale as we fold forward. Left leg back, inhale as we're arching back. Exhale into the forward. Hold the breath for knees, chest, chin. Inhale as we arch back. Exhale into the forward. Left leg forward, inhale. This is a back bend. Exhale whenever we bend forward. Inhale as we bend back. Exhale, hands to the chest. And on the right, Deep breathing, exhale, a deep inhale, a long exhale, right leg back with an inhale and exhale, hold the breath, inhale and exhale, right leg forward with a deep inhale, exhale, Inhale. Exhale. Okay, lovely. So now in letting go, we have been talking about the anatomy of emotions for quite a few days. And today we talk about how to <clears throat> work with positive emotions. So let's understand that what are we? Um, we are, of course, emotional beings. We are all feeling beings. And here, how can we enhance our positive emotions? So the corollary to letting go of negative feelings is to stop resisting the positive ones. Everything in the universe has its opposite. Therefore, in the mind, every negative feeling has its counterpart between sm smallness and greatness. Whether we are constantly aware of its existence at this point or not, doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, sab ka opposite hota hi hota hai. A good and very illuminating experience exercise is to sit down and look at the feeling that is directly opposite the negative one that we're experiencing and begin to let go, resisting it. Now, let's say, for instance, that a friend's birthday is coming up and we're feeling resentful and stingy. And therefore, we just can't seem to get out of to shop for a present and the day is getting closer. Exact opposite feeling kya hai uski stinginess ki? Generosity. Forgiveness, because you're holding up something against her. So forgiveness. We just start looking for the feelings of forgiveness within ourselves and stop resisting it. As if we keep letting go, as we keep letting go of resistance to being a forgiving person, it's often surprising that it will come up with a surge. We will begin to recognize that part of our nature has always been willing and wanting to forgive. <coughs> but we didn't hear chance it. If we thought we might appear foolish, uh, we thought we were <clears throat> punishing the other person by holding resentment, but we have actually been suppressing love. Now, in the beginning, we have to do easy thing to exercise, but very simple. If you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to for example, but I have to say that I have to be able to do it, I have to be able to So rather than forcing myself to get out of the bed, kya karti I imagine that wah, the feeling that, oh my God, I'm shopping, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm, I've gotten out of my bed and it's such a good day. And I have to say that, wow, I got so lucky, ye bhi mil gaya, ye bhi mil gaya, ye bhi mil gaya. And how does it feel? Sometimes that feeling, that creative visualization of imagining what you actually wanted to do will get those, you know, because abhi aap resist karo, abhi your eye is warm, mujhe bed se nahi uthna hai. But the minute you feel that, oh my God, this is what you've done, apne aap se, as if by spring action, your feet will touch the floor, you'll be ready to go. Because apne aap force karna is against mother nature because we're supposed to be effortless. This word effortless is actually the universal um, calling. Kuch bhi cheez mein effort nahi hona chahi. Aap agar kuch kaam karke apne wo kaam pe pahunch bhi rahe ho, wo bhi effortless hona chahi because you should be enjoying what you're doing. Jab aap enjoy kar rahe ho kuch cheez, to aapko effortless hona chahi. It's not, I don't know, mujhe mehnat karke subhe utke aana par raha session mein. 
अगर हम एफर्ट करें इसका मतलब हमें तो कुछ मिल नहीं रहा है सेशन से आई मीन गिविंग यू बॉल पैक एग्जाम्पल कि अगर एफर्ट करना पड़ रहा है तो इसका मतलब इज नॉट नेचुरल सो हाउ डू यू मेक इट नेचुरल मे बी बाय विजुअलाइजिंग ओके हाउ डज इट फील वेर आई एम डूइंग दिस ओ माई कॉल फील अमेजिंग लेट मी ट्राई इट सो दैट इज वॉट इट इज द बुक सेज इन द बिगिनिंग वी मे नॉट कॉन्शियसली फील द स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट आवर फ्रेंड but we will begin to notice that we do have this aspect to our personality as we keep surrendering our resistance to love we will notice that within ourselves there's something that wants to express itself through sharing and giving letting the past go and burying the hatchet there is a desire to make a friendly gesture we want to heal the separation this to repair the wound to make good the wrong to express gratitude and to take a chance of being thought a fool Now, how many of us? No one will say, "I want to feel sad." Nobody. But we will say, "How do you? How do you want to feel? How do you feel when you are happy? Oh, I feel ex- exhilarated, excited. Yeah, wo, all kind of positive, euphoric emotions come up. But how do you feel when you are sad? Oh, it depletes my energy. You sunken. So the purpose of this exercise is to locate within ourselves what we can be doing, which can be described as greatness. ग्रेटनेस क्या होता है इट्स अ करेज टू ओवरकम ऑब्स्टिकल्स ऑब्स्टिकल्स तो आएंगे लाइफ है प्रॉब्लम्स तो आएंगे ये तो नहीं स्मूथ सब मिल जाएगा मिलेगा भी बट अगर मिलता है तो फैबुलस नहीं मिलता तो ऑब्स्टिकल्स भी फैबुलस बिकॉज क्यों हमें हिम्मत है वी हैव द करेज इट इज अ विलिंगनेस सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड है विलिंगनेस आर वी विलिंग इट इज अ विलिंगनेस टू मूव टू अ हायर लेवल ऑफ लव it is the acceptance of others humanness and having compassion for their suffering by putting ourselves in their shoes you know hamare buddhism ek practice hai tonglen ki usme kya hota hai mere sare achhaiyan tumhari tumhare sare buraiyan meri exchange mere sare good karma tumhare tumhare bad karma mere itna compassion itna humanity ki bhai tum abad raho I will work around this. So is this is very important to understand that sometimes a person is doing this because he wants to see his shoes and look at his eyes and look at his view from the world and look at his eyes and look at his view from the world. You know, I very successfully worked with a with a serial rapist. <clears throat> My job should have been to turn him to the police, right? What did I get out of it? I worked with him for six months. It finished day before. and he was used to doing that every month six seven times with women with men with children the older ones and they never complained because of whatever reasons and now in six months he hasn't even done it once why nobody understood him na problem thi na agle ko he was wanting love wo forcefully love raha tha bachpan se deprived tha hum sare human beings emotional beings hote hain All we want is love. All we want is tarif. All we want is appreciation. And as a person, if this is less, and we make our own belief that this is this, we are all becoming judgmental. So, forgive is very important. Forget is very important. Let go 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 is very Oh my God! How guilty you feel, man. Many life really, many life really. And somebody comes and tells you, "Oh, that man is alive. It's fine." You feel like relieved. So we have to become relieved. Uske liye whatever works for us is our idea. Now the real payoff we get is when we let go of our negativity and choose to be loving. We are the ones who benefit. We are the ones who gain from the real payoff. with this increased awareness of who we really are comes progressive invulnerability to pain once we compassionately accept our own humanness and that of others we are no longer subject to humiliation for true humility is a part of our greatness so out of the recognition of who we really are comes the desire to seek that is uplifting out of it arises a new meaning and context for life when that inner emptiness due to lack of self worth is replaced by true self love self respect self esteem we no longer are dependent upon other people 
we no longer have to seek happiness love from outside we no longer have to be dependent for something somewhere that that will give us happiness 99% of the time hum log bolte hain aisa hoga to main acha feel karunga ye ho gaya to bahut badhiya hai hum dependent beings hain lekin hame badaya gaya tha independent beings ki tarah how do we get that in us isliye detachment is important agreed we are parents agreed we are children agreed we are siblings agreed we are office but fit be detach karna important hai it's all right i'm not kidding if somebody tells me today that prachi today is your last day oh it's going to be a marvelous day because i'm going to do whatever i want to do I, because i always do whatever i want to it doesn't matter mere mind mein to nahi aata ki i've got two girls how will they get married how will they study how will they most somebody will come and fill in what's a big deal but same person who is so let go of every everything else around her is dependent upon food at the moment i've got food food addiction i i can't do without it and the same person has had eight days without food also why because something somewhere triggers something inside us and we become dependent so all of us have to go within and see why am i being dependent yesterday when i played this game which we were supposed to play it dawned on a new energy in me and i'm like okay that's okay let's do it choice i have a choice it's not like i have to i have a choice and when we are independent when we are full of love when we are happy within it dawns on us that it cannot be supplied by the world anyways no amount of riches can compensate for an inner feeling of poverty we all know of the many multi millionaires who try to compensate for their own inner sense of hollowness and lack of inner worth once we have contacted this inner self the great inner greatness the inner completion the contentment the true sense of happiness we have transcended the world the world is now a place to enjoy and we are no longer run by it we are no longer at the effect of it when we utilize these techniques of relinquishing the negative and surrendering resistance to the positive sooner or later we come into a sudden comprehensive awareness of our two dimension once this has been experienced it will never be forgotten the world will never intimidate us again as it did it did once there may be continued compliance with the ways of the world out of sheer habit but the inner driveness the inner vulnerability the inner doubt is now gone ye kab hoga how when will we feel all of this apne aap se hum kab milenge अपने आप से जब मिलेंगे एंड लगेगा कि अब तो भाई वी आर इंडिपेंडेंट सब कुछ बहुत बढ़िया है बिहेवियर चेंज हो गया इट इज मैटर बाहर क्या हो रहा है कब होगा ऑल ऑफ अस वी फील होल एंड कंप्लीट कब द एंड रिजल्ट ऑफ द कॉन्शियस हैंडलिंग ऑफ इमोशंस इज इल वर्नरेबिलिटी एंड इम परपेचुअलिटी सो वाई डू वी डू दैट जब हम <clears throat> completely we let go of whatever we have in life completely when we are managing yes sir it's absolutely when we surrender when we become like a flower flow karna hai have you ever seen a flower the word flower also has a word flow in it it is flowing with mother nature jab wo decompose bhi hota hai uske andar seed hota hai wo jahan girta hai wahan फुटा हो जाता है इट्स इट्स फ्लोइंग सो इट्स गॉट अ परमानेंस इन यू ट्रस्ट द प्रोसेस यस नीता आर इन आर नेचर इज नाउ बुलेट प्रूफ वी एबल टू गो थ्रू आर लाइफ विद बैलेंस एंड ग्रेस एंड दिस इज नॉट टफ इन दिस कमिंग चैप्टर वील रीड लेट स्टार्ट द चैप्टर लेट स्टार्ट द लिटिल पार्ट ऑफ इट इट्स अबाउट अ ब्यूटिफुल सेक्शन इन आस विच ऑल ऑफ अस हैव and this is we've given very strong names to it apathy depression let's understand apathy kya hai it's the belief that i can't it is a feeling that we can't do anything without a situation no one else can help hopelessness helplessness it's associated with a feeling such as who cares what's the what's the point it's so boring why bother i can't win anyways you know that kind of attitude This is the role exhibited by Eeyore, the glum character in many of the Pooh cartoons, who says, "Oh well, won't do any good anyways." So such people are like, you know, 
आपको डाउन कर लेते हैं डिस्करेजमेंट डिफीट इम्पॉसिबल टू हार्ड ऑल अलोन गिव अप आइसोलेटेड स्ट्रेंज विदड्रॉन कट ऑफ डेसलेट डिप्रेस्ड डिप्लीटेड अनफुलफिलिंग पेसिमिस्टिक केयरलेस ह्यूमरलेस मीनिंगलेस एबसर्ड पॉइंटलेस हेल्पलेस फेलियर टू टायर डिस्पेयर कन्फ्यूज फुगेटफुल फिटलिस्टिक टू लेट टू ओल्ड टू यंग मैकेनिकल डूम्ड नेगेटिव फोर लॉन यूजलेस लॉस्ट सेंसलेस ब्लीक प्लेस हाउ डीज वर्ड्स totally sapping you off the energy now the biologic purpose of um, logic the biologic purpose of apathy is to summon aid ki something bulao kisi ko bulao but part of the feeling is that no help is possible ye koi aa bhi keh raha mujhe kuch to help nahi karta this is not not possible much of the world's population is functioning on the level of apathy for them there is no hope that they will be able to meet their basic needs nor will it help them to forthcoming from elsewhere the average person is always is often apathetic in a number of ways and in a number of areas in his life because only periodically he faces overwhelming apathy about the whole life situation apathy indicates a lack of life energy and is close to death This was observed in a World War II blitz of London. Infants were removed to nurseries and remote safe six sections of England, where their physical, nutritional, and medical needs were their physical, um, where their uh, medical needs were well attended. However, the infants developed apathy and began to fail. They lost their appetite and death rate was very high. अगर आपको याद हो हमने लुइस के किताब में पढ़ा था छोटे बच्चों को अगर प्यार नहीं मिलता तो मर जाते हैं. तो अभी हाँ हॉस्पिटल में न्यूट्रिशन तो मिल रहा है आपकी फिजिकली सुपारी भी साफ हो रही है सब हो रहा है मेडिकल नीड्स भी हो रही है बट लव कौन देगा जो मदर का लाभ मिलता है जो फादर का लाभ मिलता है जो वो फैमिली का लाभ मिलता है यू नो ऑल द टाइम बिकॉज यू नो दे बॉस ऑफ योर वर्ल्ड दे सेंटर ऑफ योर वर्ल्ड वो कहाँ है छोटे बच्चों में भी ये हुआ था लाइक जिनको अभी तक कुछ पता ही नहीं है ना वाई वॉज इट है it was discovered that apathy resulted from a lack of nurturing and emotional closeness to a mothering figure it was an emotional state and not a physical one without love and affection they lost the will to live and just look at us hum kitni baar din mein bolte hain apne aap ko ki i love you ya apne husband ko ya apni wife ko ya apne bachcho ko i love you i love you i love you kitni baar bolte hain and agar bolte bhi hain to kya wapas sunte hain i love you too वो सुनते हैं क्या उस इंसान ने सुन लिया बस ठीक है मैकेनिकली लव देने का हम लोग को आता ही नहीं है व्हाई प्रॉब्लम्स आते हैं लाइफ में योर लव डिप्राइव्ड खुद से लव नहीं है दूसरे से नहीं मिल रहा देन यू हैव प्रॉब्लम्स आई कैन डू दिस आई कैन डू दैट मेरा मन नहीं करता आई एम लथाजिक आई एम फीलिंग दिस एंड वेन वी एक्चुअली लव वेन वी एक्चुअली हाग एन वी गेट द टाइट हाग बैक हाउ डज इट फील ओ फुल ऑफ एनर्जी वाई because that's what it is all about we all supposed to be channels of free love they be mile bhi they be mile bhi in our country we see depressed economic areas when entire local population goes to apathy and people from such areas appear on television news it's often with comments as when the welfare checks runs out i guess we just face our starvation therefore there's no hope for us feelings of apathy about the letting go technique itself may appear as resistances they may take the word form of attitudes and thoughts such as it won't work anyways what's the difference i'm not ready for this yet i can't feel i'm too busy i'm tired of letting go i'm too overwhelmed i forgot i'm too depressed i'm too sleepy the way out of a path is simple let's remind ourselves again and again hamari intention kya hai hamara sankalp kya hamari mancha kya hai ki hame better jana hai higher jana hai freer hona hai liberate on ail we want to just fly high we want to dance a dance let's remind ourselves our intention kya hai theek hai right now i'm not feeling good okay fine but do i always want to be like this play the game ki is samay agar mujhe kisi ko advice karni padti kisi aur ke shoes mein hue to main kya advice deti hu aur main kya follow karti hu us advice ko ya sirf bol rahi hu actually believe nahi kar rahi hu the minute we get higher and freer we become more effective and happy and we let go of all the resistance to technique itself so very important for us to understand that we are all feeling beings 
and it's okay to be not okay it's okay to feel low at times it's okay to not you know be able to love yourself at times but hamari intention kya hai we've heard this time and again again and again that intention is the most important thing required in the world because that drives everything tomorrow we will read about i can't versus i won't now this is very important because isme fasa hua hai uh, you know belief i can't main nahi chhod sakti ya i won't main nahi chhodungi because meri conditioning waisi hai so very important for us to understand that all of us right now chahe maane chahe nahi maane bahut life mein phase hue hain we can't let go of many things kai log gharon mein phase hue hain kai log duties mein phase hue hain kai log factories mein phase hue hain apne financial goals se phase hue hain jab hum let go karenge tabhi hame aage cheeze milengi life mein this book is guiding us simply single handedly very nicely into that world ये जो चैप्टर हम पढ़ रहे हैं जो हमने अभी भी फिनिश किया है इमोशंस एनाटमी ऑफ इमोशंस का और अब जो हम अपैथी डिप्रेशन का पढ़ रहे हैं मेरे हिसाब से सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चैप्टर्स हैं बिकॉज अगर हम अपने आप को डिप्रेशन के फेज से बाहर नहीं ला सकते तो लाइफ में कोई होप नहीं है ला सकते हैं वो तो हंड्रेड परसेंट की बात है टूडे इज चैप्टर इन आर्ट ऑफ क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग बाई रॉड जॉटकिस इज अबाउट बी क्यूरियस अबाउट क्यूरियोसिटी एरिक ब्लैक deliberately got himself arrested so that he could spend christmas in prison he was so curious to see what it would be like unfortunately the authorities didn't consider his disorderly behavior serious enough and released him play was fascinated by how people at the opposite end of the social spectrum lived he was born into an elite wealthy upper class family and educated at eton suddenly he began dressing in rag clothes and shoes and started living rough on the streets of london and paris with beggars and the homeless reading about poverty was not enough for him he wanted experience it about for himself he didn't carry spare money for emergencies or wear layers of clothes for protection against the freezing conditions he wanted an authentic feel of hunger cold and hopelessness blaise experience was recorded in the book down and out in paris and london vivid experiences of the places and characters he found living on the margins although he describes the squalor and degradation in detail the result is so fascinating so revealing he exposes extraordinary life stories as well as the resourcefulness and resilience of the people he discovered in society he challenges prejudices cultivated his curiosity and discovered years worth of inspiration for writing and novels He changed his name to George Orwell so that his parents and friends wouldn't be embarrassed by his exploits and went to write some of the 20th century's classic novels which include 1984 and Animal Farm. Now let's understand all of us. If we're not curious in life, if we're not seeking something in life, what is the purpose of living a life? We call ourselves seekers, right? Ki hum padh rahe hain, we are seeking some information, some knowledge. and we'll always be a student in this life learning and growing so it, it be, <clears throat> the future belongs to us the seekers the curious people because curiosity makes us come alive it fills us with wonder and the urge to search google kyun itna kyun itna excel karta hai jisko jo information chahiye google mein jalo mil jati it's so exciting everyone wants google 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 because we are all finding something in life and when we are finding magic aate hain we discover hidden worlds our imaginations ignited curiosity is the engine of achievement agar hame curiosity hai to hum life mein bahut achieve kar sakte hain because that's what drives us to keep questioning keep discovering and continue to break the new ground tabhi bolte hain prashnev bhav zarur hona chahiye अगर हमें प्रश्न करना नहीं आता क्वेश्चन करना नहीं आता ढूंढना नहीं आता उसको ढूंढने और क्वेश्चन करने के बाद उसको इम्प्लीमेंट करना नहीं आता तो फायदा क्या है सो लेट्स व्हाट इज मेकिंग पीपल सक्सेसफुल इट्स मेकिंग देम अचीवर्स एज आइंस्टाइन फेमस इज सेड आई हैव नो स्पेशल टैलेंट्स आई एम ओनली पैशनेटली क्यूरियस इमेजिन आइंस्टाइन ये बात बोलते हैं आज भी हम उनको हजारों बार याद करते हैं दिस इज वॉट ही सेज और उन्होंने एक और चीज बोली कृतज्ञता के कदम चलता हूँ अगर वो आपको मैजिक बुक याद हो हंड्रेड स्टेप्स हंड्रेड टाइम्स स्टार्ट बाई सेंग थैंक यू टू ऑल द पीपल वुट एवर इन माई स्ट्रीम और अदर्स बिफोर मी 
so this is the uh, this is the idea be curious be grateful curious people search for the reality behind the facade for what's truly going on behind the scenes they ask difficult questions albert einstein explained further the important thing is not to stop questioning curiosity has its own reason for existing one cannot help but be in awe when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity of life of the marvelous structure of reality it is enough if one tries merely to comprehend a little of the mystery every day researching a subject is important but the creative research creatively find whatever is hidden behind the knowledge bank we can decide to be curious we can recognize a need for it and then nurture it curiosity refreshes stale viewpoints and creates new perspectives says dorothy parker the cure for boredom is curiosity jab kabhi bore ho rahe ho find something that interests you and go deep down into it there is no cure, cure for curiosity curiosity is a cure in people's curiosity is the future <clears throat> so very 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 important thank you rahul sir time for a heart thought anybody wants to read you can raise your hand and if there's something that you want to meditate on we can do that or we can do the light meditation if you i i am more to do that you can when you want you let me know light meditation is beautiful anita it's good that you get uh, hugs back from your children good great wonderful that means they're still open and receptive they're not closed down in the world today's heart thought is about relaxation i am at peace relax and enjoy life know that whatever you need to know is revealed to you in the perfect time and the perfect sequence ji please read i am at peace today i am a new person i relax and free my thoughts of every sense of pressure no person place or thing can irritate or annoy me i am at peace i am a free person living in a world that is a reflection of my own love and understanding i am not against anything i am for everything that will improve the quality of my life i use my words and my thoughts as tools to shape my future i express gratitude and thanksgiving often and look for things to be thankful for i am relaxed i live a peaceful life okay. thank you so much ruchi <clears throat> so when we say these affirmations we are putting ourselves into a world of gratitude into a world of peace so how many of you are writing your blessings every day in the morning and how many of you are genuinely loving writing them and you're finding magics in your life you can unmute yourselves whoever wants to talk which you want to talk you can unmute yourself and share what are the changes that you're finding let's inspire each other this morning yes i mean actually you can unmute yourself batai uh yeah hi uh, yeah hello good morning uh, everyone good yeah morning. i do write you know um, the moment you know like i wake up in the morning the first thing i do that you know that um, the last day you know like uh, yesterday like you know like whatever i have in my life you know i just say uh, uh thank you you know to everyone and uh, I, i really love it and and uh, and with each passing day you know i have like uh more blessings like to count yeah to count right the main change aaya abhi tak aapke yeah Almost my thinking uh yeah uh yeah the major thing is you know that i um, that Kuch i feel you know No, 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 I'm not thinking that. I'm searching for the words actually. Um, the major thing is that you know that I feel that uh, I am at I'm at peace. You know that I feel uh, like you know that I'm happy person. You know that okay. I accept. Yeah. Okay. So, आपको acceptance आ गया है about things, yeah. and you're yeah. more peaceful. गुस्सा कम होता है. अब आपने पहले बताया था कि अब गुस्सा कम आता है अब आपको. Yeah. nice good good shivani please share
Yeah, so good morning. So it has been magical for me, writing my blessings every day. I sleep in gratitude and I wake up in gratitude. I, when I sleep, I thank for everything good that happened during the day. And I wake up, the first thing I do is thank the Almighty for again waking me up for a new day. And the major change has been I've become more centered, balanced. I don't lose my temper. I know things are going wrong. I know I, I should react, but I've stopped reacting. And that for me is the biggest achievement. People, people expect me to react, to lose my temper, to just uh, go out of like I used to do earlier. But now it's like, okay, fine. Even my maid, my biggest achievement was my maid came and told me, Bhabi, we see this change in you. And please, please don't change. Please always be like this. So Amit said, I think that's the biggest thing that your help is coming and telling you that you've changed. So I think no one else is a better judge than your help. So I'm really loving this journey. So grateful for your reflections. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prachi. Thank you. It was all, all I think, uh, had it not been you and your persuasion, I wouldn't have. I, I really wouldn't have started this. It I'm is glad you awesome. joined Life as Business Series too. It was very dynamic also, full of, uh, you know, people helping each other. The Sangha was strong and I'm glad that you were part of that in this. So yes. how wonderful. Thank, Thank you for you. sharing. Thank, Thank you, my you so much. And would you be able to record for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Rahul, on my laptop. Thank you. So Rahul, sir, can you please make Shivani the co-host? She can record. Is there anything that you want to meditate about? Otherwise, I can take you normally. Lovely. All right. So let's take a deep breath in. And out. In. Out. In, out. Life is magical. <clears throat> Life is a beautiful pathway to prosperity. Life is happiness. I am happy. I prosper. I believe in magic and I believe that I am magic. I embrace life in its fullness. I have learned to accept people the way they are. Yet there are times when I become judgmental and I accept that about me because I believe acceptance is the biggest key to love and life. Whenever I come in a non-acceptance mode, I completely shift my energy and go back into the expecting mode. Knowing I'm here for a purpose. Knowing that I'm here to evolve, to rise more beautifully. Knowing I'm here to center, balance, align myself. I am a person on a mission of going inward. The more I understand the analogy, the anatomy of emotions, the more I understand how I respond or I react, the more I understand myself, my temperament, the stronger I emerge as a person with virtues. Because it all starts with acceptance. I now live in this magical world because I believe I'm in the right place at the right time. I believe that life has my back. And I believe that no matter where I am in life, I get centered, balanced and aligned right in the morning when I hear such stuff. I hear myself full of positivity. I hear myself as an angel 
guiding myself into a world of oneness. I have now become a person whose vibes heal others. Because gradually my frequency has gone up. Gradually my vibrations have gone up. As I nurture and heal myself, I also nurture and heal the others around me. Because that's what I'm resonating at. The more I fall in love with myself, the more I fall in love with life because that's what I attract. I now radiate with absolute incomparable joy. As I have discovered my own superpower of gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you dear life for being so magical, for turning me as a person completely for empowering me, for making me learn about creativity and knowing that I can create whatever I want in life. It's as simple as laying down the intention, invoking the energies, and then I know the right doors open for me at the right time. And it's on me that I enter the door and I find the right things. I'm a strong believer in the world of warmth. I have now tried appreciating more then criticism, then criticizing. I love more and hate much less. In fact, the hate is the strongest word, which is now I'm replacing it with dislike. And even dislike, I know there's a word called like. So I'm learning to expand my likeness, my likability of somebody, rather than thinking of why I dislike him. And as I go, I remember that there is so much which is good about that person. Hence, I'm working on making my relationship stronger, better. My meditation deeply grounds me, it balances me. I am super excited for this beautiful change in me as I now know that I am a channel of love and light and wherever I'm led, it's there for a higher cause. All my endeavors get slowly fulfilled because now I'm resonating at a Law of attraction where I attract whatever is required, which is mostly good. I've learned to serve unconditionally a little bit. And I know I'm only going to become better and better and better. By now, I realize as these books center balance align us, and I am telling myself to always have a book which is in progress, and I'm reading one after the other. I now also tell myself that I will take my learning forward by implementing it, not just reading it, by implementing it, because I know that is where the true magic is. By now, I've become a believer in spirituality. Every day I learn. I learn something about who I am. By now, I'm clear that there is a higher self, there is a soul which is guiding me. And now gradually I'm inching towards a world of finding myself full of love and light. I am free in life. And I love my freedom. Freedom does not mean that I have to have no responsibilities. It means that I am embracing responsibilities with love and light and I'm free. There is no resistance that I have to do this. I know I should do it and I could do it and I am doing it. There's no compulsion because I am free. I'm free in life. I'm free in my thinking. I'm free in wherever I have to be. And I'm grateful that wherever I go, prosperity follows. By, I'm great, by now I'm grateful to myself, to my mind especially, for being so open and so receptive to all the goodness, to all the abundance from all universes. I am the channel of love. I am the channel of light. I am the channel of abundance. I teach and I'm teachable. I learn and I'm learnable. I guide and I'm guidable. I nurture and I'm nourishable. 
I mentor and I'm mentorable. On this thankful, blessed day, I count my blessings for making me reach so well in my life. I know I'm here at the right time in the right place because my new journey awaits me. And the new journey has begun. The journey of involving myself and my deeper learnings and evolving as a person who's connected from all realms of your being. I am power. I am. I am. I am that. I am this. And I am no longer a label, but I am everything. Aham Brahmasmi. I am the universe. When I am the universe, I do not have to tag myself as something. But yet, I am magical. Let's bow our heads in gratitude to Mother Earth for nourishing, nurturing each one of us so beautifully, diligently, every single day, from namely the roots that are growing from within our souls to mother, in Mother Earth. All I see is the beautiful nutrition, the nourishment, nurturing of my virtues, becoming strength, um, strength, um, strengthening and becoming solid every single moment. I know, look up at my eye level, my, uh, my eyes are closed and I still look at my life with closed eyes. And today I thank every life lesson, every up and down, every knock and shock, every twist and turn for teaching me a beautiful life lesson. And for all the wonderful highs and positive thinking, I'm grateful for all that I've learned positively. And I know that tomorrow is going to be magical because I am meant for it and I'm grateful towards it. Let's look up at the universe, open our hands. Dear universe, thank you, thank you, thank you for having our backs. Dear cosmic energy, thank you for including us in your Leela. Dear divinities, angels, guardians, thank you for guiding us, nurturing us. Angels, thank you so much for your presence. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's fold our hands in gratitude. Rub them together. Bless your face. Maybe see better, hear better, say better, feel better, smell better, and sense all that good things around us. Bless our neck, our shoulders, our arms. Uh, upper back, middle back, lower back, our hips, back of our thighs, back of our calves, soles of our feet, and take all the roots back in you so that you're independent. Bless your feet, your calves, your knee, your thighs, your sexual organs, your entire gut area, intestines, large intestines, stomach, kidney, gallbladder, uterus. Go up, bless your lungs, bless your heart. And now let's bless each other with more love, more light, more abundance. Let the world be magical, let each one of us grow beautifully. Love, light and blessing Jitendraji, Shivani, Kamakshi, Ruchika, Ruchi, Minakshi, Anita, Pratimaji, Manisha, Richa, Veenaji, Surinderji, Ritu, Rahul sir, Amita ma'am, Vijay ji, Usha ji, Supriya, and to everyone doing virtually. Lots of love and light to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be blessed. Thank you everyone for making my morning magical and thank you Shivani for your reflections. Thank you so much um, Minakshi. Thank you everyone. God bless us. Let's see each other tomorrow at five. Lots of love and light. Thank you, Pachi. Thank you so